guys, this is a special episode because it's the 15th of April. Okay. So if you're watching this, it's the middle of the month, 2024. And this video is specifically for those people who find it challenging to acquire new patients, new clients, who find it very difficult to know where to spend the money in marketing, how much money to spend, and also struggle to just build a practice. Now, I want complete transparency here from the beginning of the video, and I'm going to be showing you the exact reports that we have up to date and it's the 15th of the month. This video is created in, I've literally just sat down on the computer. I had a look at the report. There was a couple of things I wanted to really share with you guys because I was pleasantly surprised. So it's not intended for show off or to brag about how well we do, it's to inspire and actually show you what is possible without having to constantly worry about lead generation, lead generation, lead generation, and all this stuff that you hear left, right, and center in the current coaching space, especially here in the UK. Maybe in the States it's the same, I'm not sure. But let me show you something very quick. So on top here it says Wickford, that's my clinic. We have all the uh, therapists above here, including myself, but I tend not to practice now. Um, I was able to streamline the process and the business, treating it like a real business, and step away from it. I wanted to do that. It wasn't because I had to, and I have practiced for 10 years before I decided to do that. So this may not be the right strategy for you, but it is a strategy. I teach people how to optimize their practice. So it runs itself, finding an organization chart that works for you, putting systems in place, procedures in place, and treating members of your team amazingly. This is not one of those situations where, uh, just because you are the director, it gives you the ability to do whatever you want, whenever you want. No, you still have to treat people with respect. You have to give them massive incentives. You have to further development professionally and personally. You have to do CPD together, build team culture, all of that stuff. But for today's purposes, let me show you the report. Now, if you're listening to this on our iTunes or Spotify podcast, it might not be as helpful, but I'll try to still talk you through it. If you're watching this on YouTube, it's super easy to see what what is going on this month. So this is the 15. If I go to our report and I go new client source, this will be the report that will tell me how we're doing up to date or the data that I've selected. So if I go to select and you can see this is not made up, this is literally real life data. So if I click from the 1st of April 2024 to the 15th, which is the day that we're recording this video. So this just happened this morning and I click apply and I generate this report, you will see a bunch of data. On the top left, it says referral source, and on the top right, it says number of clients. The first thing you'll probably notice is that there are multiple, multiple, multiple streams of numbers coming from different sources. But ultimately, if I scroll all the way down, you'll see the total number of new patients that we have booked in the diary. These are not leads. These are not cold or warm leads. These are new consultation appointments booked in the diary and 95% of those would have paid for their consultation because we have a huge, um, we've just designed the systems that way, but also have a huge show up rate. So we don't have problems with getting a lead, downloading a report, then you follow up with a call, and then you do another call, then you do another call, then you do another call. No, we have these campaigns for certain strategies, but not within this report that I'm showing with you. So are you a clinic or a practice owner who is constantly paying a thousand, two thousand, three thousand pounds a month for lead gen companies without, without paying and spending for the ads themselves. And then you get 80 leads and none of those 80 leads I say to, because I work with private clients and I say, look, how many new patients did you get booked in the diary? Oh, uh, we had, we did really well. How many? Seven out of seven, 70 leads you get seven patients booked in and you spend 3,000 pounds, 2,000 pounds, 1,000 pounds. That is not good business. And that is one of the reasons why when I work with private clients and hopefully building the community now, we have to understand your business model and we have to understand your business mechanics, I call it, for you to know, can I spend more money? Do I have a budget? Because ideally you shouldn't really have a marketing budget. A marketing budget is only there if you have a bottleneck, if, you, if the systems and the process and the procedures don't work. If I spend a hundred pounds per client, but that client spends a thousand pounds with me, why would they put a marketing budget on that? If it doesn't work and we start seeing ad fatigue, 
of course, that's a time to stop. But guys, this just I just wanted to show this short video. It's very, there's no editing on this. There's no thumbnails on this video. I just wanted to show you the number of channels that we acquire clients from. And the first one you would see is drive by and walking, eight, referral from another client, seven, booking widget app referral. So we have this special app that we can incentivize our clients to refer more. So that's another seven internet search, including Google, five, uh, we are running an offer on Google PPC, so I'm paying for that one. That's four new patients that has generated me so far. And then we can actually see where our patients are coming from, from the exact page on the exact website that we send them to. We have some magazines, we have some local leaflets, we have one from external spinal screening, but we haven't done any spinal screenings. So that must have been a patient that has come back maybe from a, a previous month that we've done something. Another magazine, a uh, general page, another back pain booklet and a few referrals from staff as well. 52 new patients booked in the diary, paid for their consultation before they've come in and it's the 15th of the month. Now this again video is not intended to intimidate people. It's not intended to show off. This video is to show you that it's absolutely possible not to spend hundreds of thousands of pounds on lead gen and having a a team that calls people all the time and has to chase people all the time and then these leads don't show up because that's a second that's like a full-time job on its own and i understand why people would pay a company to do that but what if you just have a different formula <laughs> what if you just use a different playbook and that's exactly what i'm working on at the minute because i'm a little bit frustrated to be frank with how little business acumen there is in the uk on how to run a successful chiropractic practice if you run a chiropractic practice that does a million turnover a year, you get 20, 25, sometimes even 30% profit margin. You have happy staff, you have an amazing team, you serve the community, you help lots of people, then wouldn't that be amazing to share with lots of you guys? And that's exactly what I'm building now. I've not necessarily thought of the name. Uh, I haven't come up with the exact strategy of how I'm going to deliver it to people, but we've got something that we're working on and it's going to be amazing. It's going to be the most comprehensive playbook, I call it, the most comprehensive program on a step-by-step -step of how to build, how to scale, and how to automate a successful practice so you make more money, you help lots of people along the way, and you have fun. So guys, this is it. This was just a very short video. If this is something that excites you and you want to jump on a call, I normally do like strategy sessions, uh, which basically means one hour of my time, I give it away for free so I can speak to people like you about your goals, where you want to take your clinic, what are the challenges, what are the problems that you face. And we have a very honest, open discussion whether I'm the right person to help you or not. If I'm not, I'll try to guide you the right way and still give you value. If I'm the right person to help you, I would love to absolutely transform your clinic and turn it into your dream practice uh, so that it runs with or without you. If this is the case, there will be a link in the description in the YouTube video so you can book a call with me there is no sort of pushiness. There's no sales. In, it's just a process where I find out, are we a good fit to work together? If not, that's fine. But if we are, I would love to be able to help you. Thank you so much for this short video, guys. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.